the highly anticipated DLC expansion for one of the most celebrated and enjoyed roguelikes in existence is now out in the wild. Dead Cells Return to Castlevania brings along the gothic, supernatural world of the Castlevania series and elegantly combines it with the fast-paced, combat-centric and rogue-style game found in Dead Cells. We'll be talking about what the newest expansion brings to the game, the bits, the bobs, and everything in between. If you haven't already, do be sure to check out our recent review of the original game, along with our tips and tricks, a beginner's guide to help players get situated in the Dead Cells universe. So let's start with what's new. There's a handful of brand new enemies to contend with, such as bats, harpies, werewolves, and haunted armors, and you'll see them throughout the video. There's two entirely new levels built on the gothic themes of Castlevania. 14 new weapons and items such as throwing axe, holy water, and Maria's cat, a little companion that will aid you on your journey. Three new boss fights emerge as well to challenge you, and they're honestly pretty good. They've also added 20 new outfits and character skins to the game right out of Castlevania, and they even have heads. There's also 51 songs, yes, 51, a complete alternative soundtrack to listen to if it suits your fancy. Also included are 12 reimagined tracks that thoughtfully combine some of the favorite Castlevania tunes with a Dead Cell style while also maintaining a gothic ambiance. The expansion has also added quite a few new hidden areas, tombs, rooms, and paintings, and places to explore, something that those of us who played Dead Cells have grown to love. So what's changed? As with the other DLC for Dead Cells that somehow manage to seamlessly integrate themselves into the game, Castlevania is no exception. From the very start, the game has been changed from the start menu and intro music. There's already something new. In the first mission, in the prisoner's quarters, you'll run into a mysterious man looking for help in banishing evil from the world. Following along this path will take you into the Return to Castlevania content, along with its two new biomes to explore and the first of the boss fights. The new weapons, outfits, skins, and enemies all fit in perfectly into the base game with nothing really feeling out of place. Likewise can be said for the new bosses and biomes. They've been beautifully put together and sell the atmosphere of Castlevania's gothic theme really nicely. The story is also decent and adds a completely new element to the game and helps to provide an interesting introduction and narration to the expansion content. The game mechanics and all base content all remain in place. So this is going to feel very familiar, although in typical fashion, the prisoner's quarters has been rearranged slightly to accommodate an alternate path to explore. And here's what I'm thinking. The Return to Castlevania DLC expansion is going to take most of us a few hours on its own to explore, and in those hours you'd be thoroughly pleased with what you've found, and there's always more to discover. All of the new additions have been well designed, and great care has been taken to ensure that everything fits into the Dead Cells mold just right. Is it a worthwhile expansion? Yeah, I think so. For 10 bucks, it's cheaper than a movie ticket and you'd be certain to get more out of it as there's a lot more to it than first meets the eye. Between the music and the content itself, it feels like a pretty solid buy.